Hello students! Welcome back to your piano lessons. This is lesson 7. It is the review portion of lesson 7. We're going to talk about what we learned last time in lesson 6. So would you come with me to the piano and let's review everything that we learned last lesson. In our last lesson we learned about the quarter notes and the half notes because when you see a note on a piece of paper it will give you two pieces of information. It's going to tell you number one the name of the note and number two it's going to tell you how long to hold it. And that is why we know when to play notes fast and when to play notes long that you hold it for a longer time. And if you remember right here is what a quarter note looks like it gets one beat. It has a solid head with a stem. We're going to count this one. We call this a quarter note. If it has an open head or a white head, it gets two counts and we call that a half note. And if it has an open head with no stem, it gets four counts. We call that a whole note. And then we learned this song here. We, we practiced this. We found any note on the piano. I'm going to pick this one. And we went one, 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 two, one, 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 two. And then we learned that sometimes we count songs in three. We're looking at the top number. We're going to count this in three because the top number is three. And so let's pick this note, a black note this time. And we're going to play this song. Ready? One, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. Do you remember that we did all that? What I'd like to do right now is to turn, is to make a finger number song out of the out of the notes. Now before we begin playing we have to do our warm-ups, our hand warm-ups. So put your hands together like this. Okay, I'm going to wiggle them this way. We're going to do our spider push-ups, right? Where we go flat and curved. This is how you play. You play curved. You don't play flat. We're just doing it for exercises. For flat and curved and flat and curved and flat and curved, right? You want to play like this. Okay, now let's remember our finger numbers. We have finger number one, finger number two, tap, 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 finger number two. Let's go tap, 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 finger number three. And here's the hardest one, finger four. Most of the time finger four doesn't want to do what we tell it to do because it's not used to working all by itself. And we have to say, it's okay, finger four. Have courage, you can do it. And then we have Pinky. Pinky is not very strong, but he usually gets there and gets moving around. It's finger four. Let's do finger four again. Finger four that has such a hard time. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Now I already have my dog in the doghouse so I can remember where my notes are. And we are going to start, let's get the dog snuggling in the note house. We are going to start on the G. And that's going to be this note right here. Now here are my thumb numbers. I'm going to put, these are my finger numbers. I'm going to put my thumb on the G, on the G line. And this G is, is a very special G. Here's your doghouse. Here's middle C. And we've played our songs that go up, 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 up onto G. This is the G on the G line. It's a very special G. And I'm going to start right here. I'm going to put my thumb on it. And if we were to look at the paper, you see that our notes go from a line to a space to a line to a space. And then we stay on the same space, the same and the same. And then we go up. And look, here's a skip. It goes from a line it skips to a line, it skips to a line. And then we play, we go up to the space, hit the same space, and then we go down to the line. 
And here are the finger numbers that we're going to use. And sometimes we play onesies, these are called quarter notes, and sometimes we play twosies, these are called half notes. Okay, let's play this song. I'm going to call off the finger numbers. Ready? Let's go. Play this with me now. One, two, three, four, two counts on the four, two counts, here comes the skipping. Five, three, one, two, two counts, one. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, four, two counts, four, two counts. Five, three, one, two, two counts, two counts. Did you do it? How did that work out? Okay, now let's go to the F and figure out what this is all about. Remember, here's our doghouse. Here's middle C. Usually we play like this. And here's the F. Well, I'm going to put my thumb on F. Let's turn this just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put my thumb on F. And now we're going to play this song. I don't know how it's going to sound because, I don't know. Let's just hear, find out how it sounds. Okay? Oh, I forgot to write in the finger numbers. We're going to have to play by up and down. You can also play by up and down, whether or not the next note is an up note or the next note is a down note. And that's another very important way to play. So let's do that. We're going to play the F, and then we're going to go down to the space, down to the line, down to the space, hit the same note again, two counts, hit the same note again, two counts, now we're going to go down to the line, we're going to skip to the line, skip to the line, go down, hit the same note, and then go up. Whoa! Now we have to remember to hold these for two counts. Okay, let's go again. Start with the F. F, down, 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 same, two count one. Same, one, two, down, skip, skip, down, same, one, two, one, two. There, that is the review of our lines and spaces and skips and our quarter notes that get one count and our half notes that get two counts. Now it's time to do our note races so we can remember where the notes are. Today we are going to find the F and we are going to find the A. Now let's look at the F. Remember to find the F, we go to the 3 and the F is here. And every time we have 3, there's an F. And 3, and there's an F. And we can play it with the left hand, 3, and there's an F and three, and there's an F. And can you see this one down here? Okay, 10 seconds. Have you found your F? Okay, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, I only found five. I gotta go faster than that. How many did you find? Let's see if you can find more than five. I have to find more than five. How many are you going to have to find? Okay, ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I found seven. Okay, the next note we're going to find is an A. Now the A is hard to find. We have to keep looking for A. You go to the three and it's this one right here. You go to the three and it's this one right here. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I found six. Let's do it again. Are you ready? Go. found seven. Didn't quite get seven. Very good students. I'm so proud of all that you are learning. Now take out your I Can Do It book, open up to page 36, 
and let's go over the two songs that we learned last lesson. This one is Shoe Fly, and some notes we played together fast, and some notes we just play normal style. This has patterns in it. Here's a pattern here, and here, and here. And it's always easier when you play the pattern. Okay, we're going to start on the E. Ready? E, C, D, E, F, D, D, B, C, D, E, C, E, C, D, E, F, D, D, G, G, G. Down like a finger number song. Okay, one more time. Let's play it together and I won't talk. Ready? Go. Could you play it that fast? Sometimes this is the review, so we can play it a little faster in the review. Now, remember, this is our lullaby. We have to play this soft and su suave. We have to play this suave, which means gently and smoothly. Now, let's look it over. We have some down Gs, down G, down G. Oh, and we have that repeat sign. Remember, we have to play this two times. Okay, we've got some patterns here. Three E's, three D's, bunch of D's, bunch of D's. Okay, I think I remember this song. Let's go. G E E E F E D D D G G D D D D E D C C C Now we're going to play it one more time, one more time. We're going to start with the low G. Are you ready? Go. How did you do on this review? Are you surprised at how much we learned in our last lesson? We learned about the note, uh, the counting of the notes, the quarter notes and the half notes, and then we reviewed about the ups and the downs and the skips, and we played music and did finger numbers, and we counted the music, and then we reviewed uh, two new songs in the I Can Do It book. So now, we are ready to get on to the next section of our music lesson, which is the new stuff. So be sure to come back and, fit and, and discover what we are going to learn next. This is Miss Susan, your piano fun at home teacher, saying hurry back, we have lots to learn.